Welcome back to Javon Slab Products LLC. Hope all is well wherever you at. Good morning, good morning. What's up? How everybody doing? Good, I hope, right? Soul in the mindset, right? Before we get in the topic, very, very important a uh, uh, very important topic and everybody can relate to this topic right you know whether it be in business your job you know whatever career you pursuing right do what you love right that's the topic do what you love right and before we get into it go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit the notification button and hit the share button and share this video right now this is very important to do what you love right and the reason why is because in my case right right and like I said I know y'all can relate in whatever category you may fall in whether you be an employee, business owner, entrepreneur, salesman, whatever, right? We all can relate, right? And economics, right? There's always cycles, right? And anybody that been in cycles long enough would know that there's good cycles and bad cycles, right? And this is all a matter of perspective as to how we perceive the cycle, right? Right, now, if you love what you're doing, right, this gives you an advantage because you're gonna keep doing it even when things is going bad, right? Or I would say, I would rather say when life is molding, right? Because it's all a perception, right? And every tragedy always, uh, every tragedy always brings a blessing, an opportunity that is disguised. But what happens is a lot of people never get to experience this because lack of patience, and they don't love what they do, right? This is why the topic is so relevant. Now, doing what you love, it goes in so many different ways, right? In my case, right, I love, precisely, I love fragrance oils, right? I mean, ever since I was young, right? You know, going as far back as my teens, right? I always loved fragrance oils, right? Even before I converted to the religion of Islam, right? You know, I, I always had a passion for fragrance oils, right? And that's one of the things that drawed me to the religion. But aside from that, you know, I love it, right? So, and I believe in it, right? And I believe in it. And that's, I mean, that's as critical as well because you can't love something you don't believe in, right? And when you go through these economic cycles in the world of business, right? If you don't love what you do, right? You're going to quit. You, I mean, like I said, whether you be working at a job, whether you in school, you in college, whatever you are doing in your life, if you don't love what you do, if you don't have a passion for it, if you don't have a burning desire, if you don't have dreams, if you don't, if you're not obsessed, right, you're going to quit. There's no way possible you're going to be able to persist and to persevere because your heart is not attached to it, right? And 
I'm so thankful for COVID-19, which is contrary to conventional wisdom, because aside from the shrink in revenue, right, COVID-19 allowed me to get more in tune with myself, to experience that dark side, which a lot of people in most cases try to run try to run away from right and this is so healthy right because it is it is only through trials and tribulations where you'll be tested and you'll see how much you really love what you're doing right and when you love what you do even though we all need money to survive we need money to function. We need money to live in society, right? Your love, your desire, right? If it's so strong, right? Your heart, notice I said your heart, not eyes. Your heart will overlook your shrink in revenue regardless if it's 50 percent 80 percent like we all know what's going on with a lot of business owners since COVID-19 happened and COVID-19 is not going nowhere right it's going to be here for about a decade right the stats is a lot worse than what they actually showing right uh you know with everything that's going on right now with Europe London you know with the euros and the sterling pound and you know just everything you know, economically, on an economic scale, right, it's, it's, real, it's real tough, right? And if you don't love what you do, then, you know, unfortunately, you're going to quit, right? And the Financial Times, Bloomberg Market, you know, the Forbes, right, Wall Street Journal, right, these are all good channels, good television networks to consume, right? So this way you stay on top of the market and what's going on, right? But you also have to have a strong willpower, a strong mindset to, I, I, in my personal belief, to actually watch these type of, you know, channels and consume their content because if you don't have a strong willpower, then you'll be influenced by whatever the stats is shown. But if your burning desire, if your love is stronger than what the stats are showing, then listen, there's no competition for that, man. Because very few people, very small, there's a very small limited amount of people in the world that have this passion, right? But it got to be very strong, very strong. And it can't be faked, right? It can't be faked, you know? So this leads me to the topic, why you should love what you do. And you have to be consistent and you got to have a long-term vision, right? Because this is relevant to loving what you do, right? You can't have a long-term vision if you don't love what you do. It's, it's impossible, right? Now, I mean, any any woman that ever dated me, any body that ever, you know, did business with me, you know, whether they was in person, you know, they always smelled the fragrance on me, right? Anybody can attest to that. And is <laughs> yo, is is a wonderful feeling, man, because when you approach Jerron, when you come close to me, when you come into my circumference, you're guaranteed to smell a scent of fragrance on me, 